It's my pleasure to welcome the inaugural North Texas LPGA shootout winner, N.B. Park, to the interview room. Congratulations on your third victory of the season. It's your, also your sixth career win. You retain the number one spot on the Rolex World Rankings. You hold the number one spot on the Rolex Player of the Year race. You've basically done it all this year. Just talk about uh, your day and how nice it feels to hoist another trophy. Yeah. Today, coming to coming into final round, I was two shots back, and you know I didn't really you know think about winning so much. And you know the front nine, I was giving a lot a lot of birdie chances out, out there, and you know nothing seems to be going in. So I was a little bit frustrated, but and you know on the other hand, you know Carlotta, you know she was putting really good, and you know she was playing really almost perfect. She wasn't making any mistakes until number 13, and you know you know she played very good today, except for a couple holes and. You know, until number 13, I thought, you know, I wouldn't have a chance because, you know, Car Carlota was really playing solid. So, I mean, yeah, I was just trying to be really patient out there. And, you know, it finally a couple dropped for me at the end. Just talk about uh, holes 14 and 15, Carlota bogeyed, and then she hit it in the water 15 and double bogeyed. Does that change the way you're thinking uh, as you approach the last couple of holes, thinking maybe I can really win this thing now? Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't something like, you know, I was making three, four birdies to catch her. You know, I was just making, you know, just straight pars and you know, Carlota was just making mistakes and yeah, I, I was just you know, all day I was just trying to be really patient and you know, if you know, if if the chances come, you know, I win. If not, you know, it's maybe next chance and yeah, I was just try to wait every hole. Can you take us through the eighteenth hole? Both of you hit Pretty good drives, pretty good second shots. Just what clubs you hit on that hole, and especially the final putt, how it broke, how far it was. Yeah, uh, last hole, you know, I know, Carlota was longer hitter than me, and you know, I knew that she might, you know, looked like, you know, from my position, you know, she might go for it from there, and I thought she had a little bit of a space in between the trees, so, you know, I thought, you know, she would probably make a birdie, you know, I was expecting, you know, her, her to make a birdie, so. And, you know, really luckily, I only had two 10 front. I hit, like, 290 drive on the house, so I never did this week. So, yeah, and two 10 front, and it was li helping us a little bit. So I hit five wood over the tree, and, you know, I knew that it was going to clear everything. I mean, if, if anything was going to end up in the bunker. So, you know, I thought it was definitely worth a go. And, yeah, that's what I did. And it really had a soft bounce and just stopped right there. I thought it was going to just, you know, jump up there. But, you know, it, w it wasn't an easy chip. It was about... Well, uh, 15 yards, and we, I ha didn't have that much green to work with, and you know I just landed it on, and it ended up like about five, six feet just over the hole, and it was breaking a little right to left. I played it right edge, and it, that's what I what it did. You mentioned it out on the green. Uh, so many fans came out this week. How impressed were you with the gallery walking down 18 today? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I I didn't expect that much of a gallery this week, and I knew it was really close from the city, and I know there is a big population in Dallas, but you know they were really interested in golf, and yeah, I'm very happy to see a lot of people out here cheering out for me, and you know especially there was a lot of a lot of Korean galleries that was cheering out out for me too, so yeah, it felt like a little bit home, so <laughs> that was good.